Hello everybody, glad you can make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another report with me. So this report with me is slightly different. I kind of have one main job to do for this video. I actually have a lot of reporting to do, but I'm just gonna do it in other videos because honestly, this is kind of a job in itself, if that makes sense. So I'm going to, today, I'm going to be taking my Philodendron Billetai Atabapuensi Hybrid that has got a little bit out of control. Okay, it needs repotting. And I'm going to put it in a self-watering plant pot and I'm gonna use Lekka. So I'm doing a lot of new things today. I'm also gonna put it on a moss pole. So we've got quite a lot going on. I don't wanna repot anything else in this video because this is kind of like the main thing. So here we go. I am gonna answer some of your questions in this video that I asked you guys to send me on Instagram. I have actually written a few down in advance because this is just gonna be too difficult to just casually flick through my phone. I'm just gonna pick out the most popular questions you guys have asked and do my best to answer them while we go through this. Whilst at the same time, telling you how I do self-watering with liquor, with a billet eye, on a moss pole. That sounds good then, keep on watching. Before we do anything, I'm gonna show you my billet eye because it's, it's lovely. This billet eye was actually sat on top of one of my shelves next door and it was kind of hanging down because I put it on the top shelf, it couldn't get enough light. So it's kind of grown either horizontally or downwards, so not good. So last week I took it into the bathroom, I gave it a beautiful shower down, I watered the crap out of it, and I actually staked it up temporarily on these stakes and I put it on the floor in my office. Now I did this to try and encourage the plant to just move a little bit by basically today, so that when I repotted it, it would be just a little bit easier to move it because I don't want to put too much pressure on these. You know, I, I don't want to break the plant, but at the same time, I do need to put it on a pole. I've never grown a billet eye up a pole before. I thought now would be a good time as anything to start. I think over time we can improve the appearance of this guy. He's very unruly. And can I just say, where's my, where's my spiritus leaf? Oh, it's here. You need to see this. This is amazing. I mean, look at that. That is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? There's a quick head test for you, because I know you love your head tests. That's not fooling around, is it really? That's huge. The other thing is, not only am I doing it up a moss pole, I'm using a self-watering planter. So that is the second aspect of what we're doing. The planter I'm gonna be using is the Le Chouza or Le Chouza, whatever you call it, plant pot. You can get these on Amazon. I've used these before, they're very good. No, this is not sponsored at all. I will leave the link for these down below if you wanna check them out. They do them in loads of different sizes. I'm gonna put my Strelitzia in a larger one. That's actually, the pot's just sat over there, kind of already assembled. But these are really great, totally recommend them. And you can use them with Lekka. And being, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna do this, but being that it is a new pot, like brand new, I thought I'll just try Lekka instead of soil. So we're going to do that. So in order to use Lekka with this billet we actually need to get all of the soil off the roots, which I'm honestly not gonna film me doing because what is the point? But I'm going to take this billet out of its pot, I'm gonna take it over to the sink, I'm gonna rinse all of the soil off the roots, and then I'm gonna come back and I will show you the root system because it should be pretty decent. We will see what happens. You would expect a good root system on this guy, but we will find out in a moment. So I'm gonna wash those, I'm gonna come back. So I've got off, I mean, pretty much all the soil off this guy's little roots. Now, he looks like this. Obviously, he was taken as a cutting. Now, you might think that there's loads of soil on those roots. I promise you, there kind of isn't. This plant just has like super woody roots, if that makes sense. So there's the root there. Is it gonna focus? Move it in front of my face and it usually does. That's the root there. So they're looking good. They're not perfect, but they're all right. They're very woody generally, so they're not like super light roots. The ones on the bottom, the new ones are, of course, but yeah. So I'm gonna pop him down. I'm gonna answer a question before we get into the self-watering pot because I actually need to set it up. Oh my goodness, where can I put you? Let's put you there. A lot of you have asked me about the content change and basically how I'm doing and how I'm feeling. Do I feel any better and all the rest and honestly, I do feel better. I've had all manner of comments in the last few weeks, but at the end of the day, I mean, I won't drone on about it. It's my channel. I'll upload the things that make me happy. Of course, I upload videos for other people to enjoy, but if I'm not 100% myself doing it, and if I'm not 100% happy doing it, then what is the point, honestly? Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not just being one of those channels that just churns out you know, a certain type of content because it's popular or anything like that. I'm not, I won't be that person. I refuse. So this year I'm going to be doing more of the things that I enjoy and making that content and that's kind of the way it is. I appreciate those of you that have stuck around for that. That's super awesome. I really appreciate it. But those of you that haven't, I have nothing against anybody that left. 
you know what I mean? Every time I upload, numbers just go down. <laughs> so I've tried to not look at that because I know in my heart that I'm doing the right thing, but you make content that you enjoy and you've worked really hard on and people don't like it. It's, it's hard, do you know what I mean? But I'm pleased I've done it, but thank you to everybody you know, stuck by me. And of course, this channel will always be a planned channel. That's just not changing. If I didn't make that clear, I apologize. It is still very much a planned channel. I'm just gonna be doing other stuff as well. Do you know what I mean? Like there's other things involved. And as far as the swearing goes, in videos such as these and rare plan indexes or anything educational, you won't find me swearing. That's not gonna change. But if it's in other videos like planned tinders, vlogs, something that isn't maybe in line with what I usually would do, then you might find swearing and, and everything else. But just in case anyone's confused, I'm not just gonna start swearing all over my channel. That's that's not what I'm about, do you know what I mean? But in certain videos I will, certain videos I won't. So if you see a difference in you know that kind of thing, that's why. Anyway, I just wanna tackle that really quickly because I know a lot of people were like, oh God, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> you gotta take the rough with the smooth, you know? Uh, so anyway, this is a Le Choise self-watering planter and it comes with a little kit. You can use this with soil or you can use it with lecker, which is what we're gonna do today, but I have to assemble it. So I will take you through what the pot comes with in case you're interested in getting it. This is the outer pot. This is what's gonna keep the water in it. Down here, you have a little hole. You can actually take this plug out if you want to use this plant pot outside or you can keep it in for indoor house plants, which is what I'm doing. This here is a little plinth that will sit in the bottom to raise your plant up. But you get this and you also get a little pack. So in it, you get a bag of, I can only assume they're kind of gravel, which looks a bit like this. You get a bag of that to put in the bottom and it will fill these holes and, you know, create like a bed for the rest of your plant and your lecker and everything else. And you also get a little watering meter, which is why I like these plant pots. I've only used one of these before. I've used it in Gus. Gus is actually in a self-watering pot. He is the only plant that I have in a self-watering pot. But to be honest, it's getting a little bit hard to take care of my plants. So I'm gonna start making some changes to the way I plant. This is one of them. The cool thing about this is that it has a little meter like this to indicate to you when it's time to water. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's easiest to show you now rather than later, to be honest. There's like a min and a max. Can you see that there? There's a little, Kind of like, a, I mean, it's basically a straw it will sit between these two levels like this and it will tell you when you need to water because obviously when the water level goes down, this will go down and then you know. So we're going to build this very quickly. It is honestly not that complicated. I just have to remember how to build it, which I don't. So let's get the instructions out. I literally did this, I don't know, three hours ago, something like that. There we go. So that's the bottom on the nozzle. So now I'm going to build the top part that you literally use to measure if it needs a water, there we go. It clips in, it feels a bit scary, but it just clips in. Then I'm going to put this little straw into this little flotation device, we shall call it. It's a little bit tricky, there we go. That's in there, so that's gonna enable the straw to float up. Then we put it into the bottom of here, make sure it's stable, because if that detaches, then you're screwed. And then on top of that, feed that through. And that is the main part of the self-watering aspect to it, really. Super simple to set up. So the next part is just clipping this little bracket onto here and you don't actually clip it, it just sits there. So don't expect it to kind of fit. So just push it in, get your plant pot as such, pop it in the bottom. Then we get our little self-watering indicator, put it in there. So now that's in there, just pop that on and it just literally sits on. It's nothing flash because when you water your plant, you're actually gonna pour water down there. You never need to interfere with your plant. So that is that on there. I'm going to do some gravel. I'm just shove the gravel in the bottom. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to look at another question. Oh, a very quick one on my personality type. I think it's the Myers-Briggs personality type. I did take that test a while ago and I can't remember the precise answer that I got, but I know that I'm the defender personality type. So to whoever asked that, that's the type I am. Fish tank video, it's coming. So the fish tank video, give me two seconds, this might be noisy. The fish tank video is coming. I had all but the actual fish footage done, but then I realized some of the footage was kind of garbage. So I kind of have to start again a little bit on that. It will 100% happen though, I'm sorry. I know, just keep bearing with me. We will get there guys. The next thing we're gonna need to do is the moss pole. Oh my goodness. Now there is no easy way to do this because really there shouldn't necessarily be a moss pole in here, but I'm putting one in. Now there is a hole here for water. I'm actually going to use this hole for the moss pole 
like so. I uh, don't know if you can see that, but I'm actually gonna use that. I don't necessarily think you should, so I'm not gonna recommend doing it because I think that's where the water is supposed to come in. I'm gonna put a little bit of gravel in it just so I can use you know, some of the top um, just to stabilize it like this, but I'm not necessarily recommending that you do that with your moss pole. But that is where the moss pole is gonna sit. I'm gonna have to plant the billetai first and then obviously go about attaching it to the moss pole. So I do have some lecker that I have pre-washed in this bag of all things. Yes, it is an Eheim bag. I may have bought fish the other day. Well, actually I probably can't put much lecker down because we're nearly at that third margin, aren't we? You're supposed to fill lecker to a third of the pot and we're nearly there. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of lecker in here, but I really can't actually put that much in. I just have to be pretty minimal with it. So another question I keep getting asked pretty much consistently on my Instagram is what am I doing for my skin? If you guys haven't noticed my skin, well, hopefully you have noticed, my skin has got steadily better and better and better over the last few months, really since the end of last year. If you don't already know, I did have perioral dermatitis for quite a while, so that was a struggle. I got around that. Uh, let me know if you want a video on it. But I also changed my skincare dramatically, or should I say I found skincare, proper skincare. I'm happy to do a video entirely on my skincare, but if you're wondering generally what I've done differently, I use Drunk Elephant products. And by the way, yes, they're expensive. That's why I'm not in a rush to, you know, ram them down anybody's neck, but they really are amazing, at least for me. And the transformation in my skin has been quite insane, to be honest. A lot of people are telling me that with no makeup on, I look even younger than I did before. So that's obviously very good because I'm 30, by the way, if you didn't already know. Somebody did ask that. I'm 30 years old and I need all the help I can get to not age and to start preventing aging. So yeah, if you want a video on that, let me know in the comments, but basically that's what it is I've been doing. Another person asked me what retinol I've been using because obviously I've been kind of complaining on Instagram about it. I'm using Drunk Elephant's retinol. I think it's a 1%. So it is strong, very, very strong. It's probably why I'm having such horrendous reactions. That's all of my skincare. If you do want a video, a separate video, I'll, you know, I'll think about doing one. If it helps people, then yeah. Same thing for the perioral dermatitis as well. So very quickly, I'm just gonna try and shove this billy in down here. It's got more than enough space for its root system, but it's just gonna be a bit, a bit tricky to be honest, because I also need to think about how I want it to sit on this pole and you know, kind of what's gonna be the easiest way of trailing it. There's an aerial root there, so I should really keep, I don't know if you can see that. There is an aerial root here. I should probably really keep it near the pot. Maybe we should just try this way. I'll try and spread the roots out in the pot just to give him a nice good chance. So he's just gonna have to look a little bit weird, our little Billy right now, but I'm sure he will look very sexy soon. Another one, do you like Jeffree Star's new palette? No, I don't. I'm, to be honest, I'm really keen to support Jeffree and Shane, obviously, but I haven't found a palette that I really like yet. So as soon as there is a palette that I really like, I'm totally gonna go for it, but I don't really like this one. I'm a bit scared of color these days. Somebody also asked me what my thoughts are on Lekka, which is this stuff in my hand right here. Honestly, I'm still new to it. I'm still seeing how it goes but I quite like the concept of it. And I wanna see if I like the style of, you know, taking care of a plant that's potted up in this. So I can't give you my full opinion yet. I can tell you how to do it in a video, if you'd like, uh, how to you know, convert a plant over from soil to lecker. That's perfectly doable. Um, I'd rather wait a little bit till I've formulated my opinion on it, just so I can, you know, give you my opinion in the video. But so far, so good. I'm rooting up some cuttings in it as well as we speak some Monstera cuttings, which to be honest, brings me on to a question somebody asked me, which was basically, are you shipping to the US and when? And I did put a post on Instagram about this the other day. I am shipping to the US this year. So what is happening is right now, I'm preparing some plans to send over. I'm doing some trials with a couple of trusted individuals. I'm going to send them plants and we're going to make sure they get there okay. The process is correct. We have all the information we need. There are no holdups, they all go through. Once those trials are passed and I'm happy with how things are shipped, how they get there, basically all aspects of it, I'm going to begin shipping to the USA. I would like to think that would be at the beginning of April. It might be delayed, it might be the end of April, but it will be happening. Canada, a little bit different. So Canada, I think you need additional paperwork. So for the USA, you need to have phytosanitary certificate to get a plant from basically me, the UK, to you. But I provide that, you don't need to do anything. 
Canada, you do. I'm pretty sure you, if you're in Canada, you actually need an import permit as well as me providing you a FITO. I don't know the ins and outs of applying for that, but you need to apply for one of those before I can send you a plant. So that's another thing. I am going to be doing a trial with somebody, a trusted individual in Canada, should we say, uh, to see how that goes. That's That trial is delayed because they also need an import permit. So as soon as I've figured all this out, guys, 100%, I will do a video dedicated to all this and I will answer all of your questions. I will tell you how it goes. I will probably do what I did when the shop initially opened and I will show you some of the stock that I've got. We'll do the whole thing again and then we'll launch the shop again and we'll do shipping to the USA. I don't know the ins and outs of it though. Like I don't know if there's gonna be delays, you know, to get the FITO to send it out to you, but I will figure it all out and I will get back to you. But 100% it is happening. There was no way I was not gonna ship to you guys. I know we had some ups and downs last year, but there was no way it was not gonna happen. Let me just fill this up with Lekka and get back to you because it's way too noisy. Give me one moment. Hang on a minute, I've lost a part of this. I have a horrible feeling, guys. I've lost a part of this pot. And I have a really nasty feeling that it's in the bottom of the pot. And it was the little cap for the self-watering. And I've just potted this up and now it's not there. Please tell me, please tell me I haven't done that. Please tell me. It's not there though, is it? It's gone. Oh, welcome to another episode of How Not To Do It. Right, okay, we've done it. It's happened. I'm now gonna pop this little cap on because I thought it'd be a good idea to plant it. So we'll just pop that on there. Right, billetai, done, sort of. So this billetai is now mounted, but obviously the pole doesn't mean anything because it's not, you know, the, the billetai isn't attached to it in any way. I'm sure it might climb, but I wanna help it out a little bit more than that. So I bought off Amazon Velcro plant ties. I think it's all in one little roll. I haven't opened this yet. It's all in one roll, but I think you just cut it to how long you want it. I don't know how I'm gonna go about this. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I don't know how I'm gonna pin it. I don't think it's gonna look pretty, but we're gonna try it anyway. So you use a five centimeter overlap there to ensure that the Velcro actually sticks and it's got enough to stick it. So I'm gonna move this very unruly billy, billy tie out of the way. I don't really have a strategy here, except to try my hardest to just basically pin these, you know, these leaves up in a way that's not gonna put too much stress on them. So it's probably gonna look really nasty because it's gonna take some time for this plant to like grow and move itself into a nice position. So when I'm basically done with this today, it ain't gonna look great, but in a few weeks, it'll look really good. I'm thinking this one just needs to go straight up and these two can go up. Like I don't want to pin them up unnecessarily because a lot of them will still drop around the pot. You know, I might just pin them two up. Let's try this. Cause the good thing about these Velcro things is if you don't like it, you can change it pretty quickly, so. That's nice. So that's not too much strain on it. There's still movement there for the actual petioles of the plant. It's so difficult to do this because there's, there's not really a right and wrong answer. They're just what looks crap and what looks less crap, isn't it? So if you are here for an expert tutorial, <laughs> you've come to the wrong place, my friend. This don't work like that. If you're doing this yourself, don't overly pull them up because you might find that you snap your plant and it's taken a long time to get like this and you don't want that to happen. So do I want that there like that? I feel like I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna go overboard with these. I do advise if you're going to do this, stake the plant in advance, like I kind of did as you can, just to help because the plant will start to grow a little bit better anyway. So if the if your billetai has done what mine has done and is growing down like that, try and make it so the light source is above it and it will automatically try and bring its leaves up over time of course but it's really going to help you when you get to this point because if it's just too stubborn you risk breaking it so don't do that oh now i feel like i have to tie it all up do i just tie it all up guys i feel like i've progressively got more restrained with this i'm literally gonna have to i've tied every other leaf up so i can't really leave that one down do you know what i mean how amazing right is this plant gonna look when these leaves go vertical like this so you have this one vertical and this one vertical. Like how amazing is that gonna look? It's gonna look beautiful. And it waters itself. So we'll see what happens with that. Obviously we'll see how the process of transferring it to Lekka goes. I've done quite a lot to this plant over the last few days and it is a lot to do to a plant, but it's a billet eye and it's gonna be fine. It's really, really tough plants that can handle it. 
especially this one. This is like the toughest thing ever, so. So here he is. This is the finished Billa tie. He's got plenty of space. I can't even get it all in the frame there. He's got plenty of moss pole at the top to climb on. So he's not looking the sexiest that you've ever seen him. And as I say, it's just gonna take him out of time before he straightens all of his little leaves out. I'm gonna put him facing a window so he can really, you know, start to hang, but he's gonna look gorgeous. So that is him. I'm not gonna show you me putting water in the pot, but if you get one of these pots, and I do recommend them, either for soil or lacquer, just make sure it's very well draining if you're gonna use soil. But if you're gonna get one of these and do it, you literally just fill the water up to the max. So you don't even need to look, you just flip this to the side, you don't even need to remove it. Just swizzle this round right here, put the water in there, done. And you basically got your own amazingly self-sufficient lecker system that even tells you when it's time to water your lecker. I will totally keep you guys up to date on how this little guy does. Hopefully he starts to look real sexy real soon. I don't know how long it's gonna take him because he's probably pretty stubborn, but we'll see. I estimate maybe three weeks and then he's gonna look really sexy, but I will totally update you on Instagram. And I think that's it for this video. I'm sorry that I didn't answer many questions. You guys did send me a lot of questions, but I thought I might save them because I do actually need to repot a load of stuff, not just this guy. He's very nice, isn't he? I don't know where the best angle to have him at is. That's kind of cool. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching this video and I hope to see you again in my next one. Please leave suggestions for videos down below. I love you all very much. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye!